Hi guys, this is Lair and um, if you want to know how I did this makeup look um, today, uh, my makeup look today, uh, just be sure to stay tuned, watch the full video and yeah, I'll teach you some tips and tricks on how I achieve this look and how my uh, makeup routine is. By the way, uh, the autofocus, auto talaga. The autofocus in my camera kind of sucked. I don't know what happened. And yeah, I'm uh, apologizing. I'm apologizing in advance for the fail autofocus on my camera. So hey, yeah. Um, let's start. First, you have to wash your face, and then you tidy that uh, messy hair up. You can put it in a bun, or uh, I use this orange. Um, head towel from Cash and Carry. Next is I put my foundation. This is Maybelline New York Dream Set in Skin B5 Air Whip Liquid Foundation. And I use it with my H&M uh, foundation brush that was given to me by my lovely friend Owen Domingo. Thank you for the Christmas gift. And I use this Max Appeal Concealing Cream in Natural for all my concealing needs. And then I also blended it with my H&M foundation brush. And for the Maybelline Air Whipped um, foundation, I need to set it up with a Maybelline Loose Powder. So that's what I'm doing there. And then next is we need to fill in the eyebrows. I'm gonna use this um, Le Fieri Cosmetics um, contouring palette. I'm gonna use the brown, the darkest brown eyeshadow powder. Then you outline the outer corners of your eyebrow with a um, pointed uh, inverted triangle, like what I'm doing right here. And then go to the body of the eyebrow. And then you fill in the gaps with more powder. And then I used this eyebrow brush to like blend it in. And then you, you um, erase the excess powder. routine as the other eyebrow and fill it in with, with your uh, angled brush next is I'm gonna teach you how to draw a nose line so yeah, with the same uh, angled brush and the same powder, the dark brown powder, you draw a line from your eyebrows to your nose bridge and then to the middle of each side of the nose. And then I blended it out with my fingers. Next is contouring the face. I use the darkest brown again with my contouring brush and then I um, make that face to know where I should put the contouring powder and then at the jaw and then the side of the forehead and then later you're gonna blend it out, out. blending it until you get um, no harsh lines <laughs> if, you, if you have excess and you just blended it out or uh, brush it away with a fan brush The 
next is I'm gonna outline, emphasize my chin. I'm making that shape. I'm not gonna tell you what I think that shape is, but the chin is gonna look perfect with that shape on it. Yeah, I'm just kidding. So the next step is I'm gonna teach you how to I do my eyeshadow. So I have two brushes, my eyeshadow brush and my blending brush. I'm gonna use this white um, eyeshadow and uh, I'm gonna fill my eyelids with that eyeshadow. I'm gonna take this dark eyeshadow and put it in the three fourths corner of my eye and have that um, smoky eyeshadow effect then this white eyeshadow I put in my inner corner of my eye and then in under my eyebrow and then this light brown I pat it in the middle of my eyelids we have that color combination I use this blending brush to blend everything out until there are no harsh lines to be seen in the crime scene. And I do the same step on the other eye, of course. And the next, I'm gonna teach you how I do my eyeliner. Most of the girls ask me how I do it. I use this Maybelline New York Hyper Sharp Liner pen. And then first, I make that line from the end of the crease to the end of my lash line. This is key here, my darlings. Look at my hand position. I take my eye liner game seriously here, people. Now, and then I work my way from the inner corner of my eye to the middle and then I try to line it up and connect it to the line I previously made. That's it. But the real challenge here is how I do the other eye as symmetric as possible. Next, I'm gonna tight line my eyes so I have this black eyeliner and then just put it in the under my eyelid next is mascara from the face shop what is called? it is fresh and volumizing mascara from the face shop Sometimes I curl my lashes before I put my mascara, but today I decided not to. I use uh, this blush brush. Get it from Clinique Zero Six Natural Territory Duo. I use this color, and then I smile or do that. So that I would know where to put the blush to know my, where my cheekbones are and then I spread it until the sides of my forehead and then last is I put my lipstick on this is a Maybelline color show 305 nude mocha and 
then I do my lipstick that way. I put, uh, I try to line it in that way from the upper. I looks like I'm, make, I'm making an X, and then I, I I'm focused on lining the outside of my lip and then down to the lower lip I yes I'm focused on lining on um, precise lining of my lip rather than uh, filling the middle part and then that's not it I take this tissue and dab it to my lipstick to make it matte and for it to stay longer that's the excess pigments now I use this Johnson baby powder or any powder and then I put it in my lips trust me on this girl this life hack works and I put another layer of the lipstick I used And then for you not to put lipstick on your teeth, you put, you do that icky thing, and then you get those pigments so that won't go to the big front teeth you have. And that's it, guys. So thanks for watching, and um, lucky no improvement from my previous makeup routine, diba? So I love you guys. Merry Christmas, and um. Uh, soon a uh, happy new year and yes yeah, still my autofocus socks Yon, I will list all the products I've used below all the brushes where I bought them and uh, if you have comments on this video if I am doing something wrong if I did something right if you have learned from me from my makeup routine just comment below and I'll see you guys later I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.